Yo, what's up, Swag? And you already know what time it is, man. It's your boy, KLR, aka KL Swag. Back here with a video, man. Look, man, this is a late post, man. Shout out to Microphone, bro. This is Baker Mayfield posts his farewell message after the Browns meeting with Deshaun Watson, bro. I'm not gonna lie, man. This man, Baker Mayfield, literally posted something about, I guess, the situation, man. He probably might not be a Brown anymore, man. You know, Deshaun Watson, they really might. <laughs> they might. <laughs> They might take him. Oh, yeah. But look, man, let's get into the reaction, bro. I'm taking let's get into it. It's a huge risk here making this video for you guys because when you make three videos in a 24-hour span on YouTube, well, YouTube doesn't send out notifications anymore, which means until 24 hours from my first video today on Deshaun Watson, if I make another video, you guys won't get notified about it. So the only thing you could hope for is joining my Discord community if you want to get a notification when it gets posted, or you can just leave a like and subscribe on Hey, I'm not gonna lie, man. You can join my Discord as well. K Swag reacts. <laughs> Let's get into it. Because turning on my notifications in this instance probably won't help you. Apart from that, we got oh, some man. crazy news on Baker Mayfield that I have to take you guys through. Now that we got all that out of the way, break. But I'm not gonna lie, you guys. Um, I do answer um on Twitch and I do answer my Discord, man. It's a lot of you guys that be hitting me up, and I do answer you guys, bro. Yeah. My right, let's see. One, two, one, two, one, two. What's going on, everybody? If you remember in my first video today in the Deshaun Watson saga, the latest news bro. I have on that, by the way, is a rumor that he is leaning towards potentially wanting to be traded to the New Orleans Saints. The way this is working so far is Ooh. the Carolina Panthers and New Orleans Saints have submitted trade proposals for Deshaun Watson. Damn. These are packages that the Houston Texans, in their minds, have accepted. And they're just waiting for Deshaun Watson to say which team that he would prefer to go go to now at the time that i'm recording this video the only three teams that have made trade proposals are the new orleans saints carolina panthers and cleveland browns okay and that last team is the whole reason we're making this video today just wait and see now in my last video i mentioned that the atlanta falcons were a dark horse contender and for the most part, the one thing that the Falcons have in common with the Carolina Panthers and the New Orleans Saints is they're all part of the same conference. No, screw that. They're all part of the same freaking division. And each and every single one of these teams has a legitimate claim to Deshaun Watson. I mean, when you look at the Atlanta Falcons, Deshaun Watson grew up as the Atlanta Falcons ball boy. In addition to that, Damn, I, I, know. I didn't know that. Well, actually, I did know well, that. Well, if you were a football fan in the 2000s, you loved watching Michael Vick play football when my friends when told the me Carolina that Carolina Panthers there's a tie to Carolina because he went to Clemson for college and he absolutely dominated in college for Clemson defeating Alabama 35 to 31 in the 2017 college football playoff national championship yeah, that's true. and winning that's true. multiple awards alongside a consensus all-american when you look at the New Orleans Saints I'm not gonna lie I don't know what tie there is to the New Orleans Saints but I think out of all of these teams, they are probably the most attractive destination. Who doesn't want to Damn. go to the New Orleans Saints and team up with Alvin Kamara and Michael Thomas? They have a very stable culture over there, and they have a remarkable offensive line, especially if Deshaun Watson joins the New Orleans Saints. I can imagine Teron Armstead coming back. And then there's the Cleveland Browns, who, in my opinion, are probably the least likely to be able to trade for Deshaun Watson because they're still in the same conference as the Houston Texans. But I also also said in that video in my last video that doing this could potentially alienate Baker Mayfield Damn. and oh my god I think they just alienated Baker Mayfield now just to give you an idea we did have a similar situation to this before and we're gonna cover that in just a second but right now when you go onto Twitter or on Instagram you'll see that Baker Mayfield posted a nice little love note to Cleveland saying Cleveland the past four years have been nothing short of truly life-changing since I heard my name called in the draft to go to Cleveland. Damn. This is not a message with a hidden meaning. This is strictly to thank the city of Cleveland for embracing my family and me. We have made many memories and shared growing in this process through all the ups and downs. I have no clue what happens next, which is the meaning behind the silence I have had during the duration of this process. I can only control what I can, which is trusting in God's plan throughout this process. I have given this franchise everything I have. 
That is something I've always done at every stage and at every level. That will not change wherever I take my next snap. Whatever happens, I just want to say thank you to the fans who truly embraced who I am and the mentality that aligns. It's crazy because I think he knows that that he literally is not going to be a Brown anymore. And it's crazy because I really think that I, I think some people do know that Deshaun Watts is probably going to be a Brown. He's probably going to most likely be be a Brown, bro. And, and, you know, go to the Browns, man. And that's probably why he put this out here. He don't really want to say that, you know, he, you know, he's probably going to be a free agent or whatever like that. But I really think that Deshaun Watts is going to be a Cleveland Brown, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Why else would he put this out? out? And we will always be thankful for the impact it has had and will have I in mean, our lives. He knows he's not starting over. Baker me. Reagan Mayfield. Now, I tweeted out, you're not Aaron Rodgers, bro, in response to this. And the person that replied to this had the most epic response of all time. But tweets aside, let's break this one down. We had a similar Damn. situation to this a few weeks ago. If you remember, Aaron Rodgers took to Instagram and thanked all of the Green Bay Packers organization, Kylie <laughs> Woodley, his, his wide receiver. They say you're not Aaron Rodgers, bro. In a huge, long paragraph, pretty much showed tremendous gratitude and told us to all get drunk off of gratitude. He also posted a bunch of cryptic pictures. I mean, there was Devontae Adams and Randall Cobb with Aaron Rodgers missing in the middle. We all, well, I especially overanalyzed that. And ultimately, it turned out to be a gigantic nothing burger. And I just wanted to preface this entire commentary that this could potentially be a gigantic nothing. Baker Mayfield may just That's want true. to show tremendous appreciation for the team that drafted him. But there's some interesting stuff that came out as a result of this. For one, Duke Johnson, Duke Johnson posted this GIF. You might be wondering what's the significance of this GIF. If you remember when Baker Mayfield first was a Cleveland Brown, towards the beginning of his career, Duke Johnson requested a trade from Cleveland. Baker Mayfield at the time responded by saying that you're either on the train or not. And Duke Johnson posted this this gif of a burning broken down train Damn. which i'm assuming is some sort of hint at something that's going on behind the scenes now here's the thing man i'm gonna be 100 percent honest with cleveland browns fans deshaun watson joining the browns in my opinion is a huge long shot but as a result of this at least what ari mayrob is saying they have to go to the ari playoffs Mayrub is a fairly legitimate source at this point in my opinion even if the browns don't get deshaun watson the message is out yeah. to baker mayfield that he's a lame duck qb the giants didn't do it to daniel jones the eagles didn't do it to jalen hurts but the browns did it with baker mayfield the only other player that i could think of that comes to mind right now that was a bona fide lame duck qb well the two most recent ones is one jimmy garoppolo who handled it with class and grace and two alex smith who also handled it fairly well as well. And they That's understood, true. man, whenever there's a player like Deshaun Watson available or in the Kansas City Chiefs case, whenever there's a player like Patrick Mahomes available or in the 49ers case, they think Trey Lance could be that Patrick Mahomes type of player, you need to pounce on it. Finding a transcendent Damn. QB and making sure he has the tools to succeed in the NFL is extremely difficult. And it seems like the Cleveland Browns may have burned a bridge with Baker Mayfield as a result of doing this. Probably. Apparently, Baker Mayfield would like to join the Indianapolis Colts if he gets traded. I personally would love to see that happen. I actually think mm. it would fit in really well with the Indianapolis Colts. Very similar situation there. Great running game. Doesn't have the greatest wide receivers. Michael Pittman Jr. is a solid player. T.Y. Hilton, whenever he's healthy, is a tremendous wide receiver as well. Yeah. But according to Jordan Schultz, an AFC general manager also said to him, reportedly, that even if the Browns don't get Deshaun Watson, how can they possibly bring Baker Mayfield back? I just don't know how he can operate in that building after this. How can he still be in that organization? I feel like you could totally still be in that organization. Because yeah. It's not personal at the end of the day it is business it Apparently is he does business feel empathetic towards baker mayfield because the man had a very tough year he got exposed as the reason why o odell beckham jr wasn't successful on top of that it is true had a really bad year playing football after a fairly good year playing football the year prior and you could say that's due to it's injuries, crazy. but obviously it was a huge regression from 2020 ultimately i feel like tomorrow is going to be absolutely insane make sure you subscribe and have my notifications Oof. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Tomorrow is going to be insane.
going to be a hella, 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 hella reactions tomorrow, man. Shout out to Microphone, man. I, I'm, hey, and also, I'm not going to lie, man. I'm going to do my own, you know, um, videos as well, man, uh, about this free agency, bro. So I love you guys, bro. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay swagged up. Make sure you join the Discord. K-Swag React.